Good afternoon and welcome. My name is Father Steve Connor from Holy Trinity Episcopal Church. I hope this video message finds you in good spirits and good health this Friday of Easter. So as we gather, we gather again praying the collect from today. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty Father, you gave your only Son to die for our sins and to rise for our justification. Give us grace to put away the leaven of malice and wickedness, that we may always serve you in pureness of living and truth. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. One of the things I'm learning more and more is how much my dog Wiley teaches me. Every morning we go out for our walk, and the sun is just coming up, and he is smelling and smelling. And you know, sometimes he stops somewhere to smell, and it feels like an eternity. And I have that urge to kind of pull him along and say, come on, let's go, let's go. Well, today what I realized is when he is stopping and smelling something, he helps me to stop and to look around and see what I notice, perhaps some new flowers that have come up. Or like today, one of the painted rocks at one of the ends of the streets had a rainbow and a sun, and it said, be safe. Wiley helped me see that. He helped me to slow down and to pay attention. The other thing I've learned from Wiley is to be gentle with myself. I've made a couple new friends during my sheltering at home, this COVID-19. My first new friend is about 10 extra pounds, 10 extra pounds. Because you know, there's something about comfort food. There's something about treating ourselves when we're in difficult situations. So a few Saturdays ago, I noticed one of the local donut shops was open on Saturday morning and Sunday morning, and they have the best white cream-filled powdered donuts. They're big, and the cream is thick and sweet. I had to have one. True confessions, maybe two. And of course, Easter was just last Sunday, and I cannot resist anything that has chocolate and peanut butter. And so, for Easter, I was surprised with a small basket filled with peanut butter cups, peanut butter and chocolate eggs, more peanut butter cups. And then, of course, one of my sisters makes delicious homemade Easter eggs. And, of course, they're chocolate and peanut butter. And so I've made friends with my new 10 pounds. I've said, okay, that's all right for now. I keep thinking about exercising. I keep thinking about the bicycle that's hanging on the wall in the garage. And I pass by it and I think, maybe I should take that down, fill the tires and literally dust it off. But something else comes up and I don't. And the other thing that I've made friends with is my afternoon nap. Every afternoon, about four o'clock, Wiley and I head up to the bedroom and I go up with the every good intention of reading. I bring my magazines, I bring my periodicals, I bring uh, my iPad that may have a book that I'm reading right now. And as I get up there and we get situated on the bed, because of course he joins me on the bed, I start to read and within about five minutes, the eyes are closing and the nap comes on. I can still hear the words of my mother saying, you're napping? 
What a waste of time. But gently, I've made friends with my afternoon nap. And Wiley comes and lays beside me without judgment, without any kind of, ex of, un of judgment or unacceptance, just pure, pure love. And isn't that what we're all looking for? And during this strange and mysterious time we're living in, what we really need to do is to be gentle with ourselves, to make friends with those extra pounds, to say okay to that second piece of cake, to say it's okay to fall asleep at 10 o'clock in the morning. It's okay. Because if we, we fight these things and we get angry, those, those emotions will take over. And Jesus knew this very well. I think of Jesus appearing to the disciples after the resurrection. He didn't go into that upper room and start saying, Hey, guys, where were you? You all ran away. There I was, suffering, being judged and ridiculed and spat upon. And where were you? You guys were hiding. The only ones who were faithful to me were the women. Honestly, that not that unusual. But anyway, Jesus didn't berate the disciples for being scared and running away. No. He appeared to them and gave them new life. In Matthew's Gospel, we read, Jesus says, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Come to you, come to me, all you that are weary, and I will give you rest. Jesus doesn't judge us for these things, and nor should we judge ourselves. It is really time to be gentle with yourself. To be gentle with yourself. Sometimes we are our own worst critics, and we judge ourselves maybe more harshly than others. So I invite you during this strange, mysterious time to not judge yourself for that four, those four cookies you ate. Do not judge yourself for not going out for that afternoon walk because it's just a little too chilly. Be gentle with yourself because God is gentle with us. I found this poem by a poet I'm not familiar with. Her name is Rose Amberlin, and she writes, All I crave is that gentleness, the first of things where sweetness rings in the beginnings of love, the call of sheer simplicity as all falls into place, and the selfless wantingness that remains in all of its grace. All I crave is that gentleness, those bubbles of hope that slowly rise up and tickle your insides, the rush of heat that stains your cheeks that you'll never be able to hide. All I crave is that gentleness, that genuine selfless love. All I crave is that gentleness, the kind, from the kind sent from up above. Be gentle with yourselves these days, for God is gentle with us. May Almighty God bless you and keep you. May God's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may Almighty God bless us all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Be gentle with yourself. For our God is gentle with us. Amen.